What is going on gamers? Welcome to my top 5 next gen game titles that I really just really want to play and I'm going to make a video for you guys featuring the gameplay and the trailers for the these 5 games that I want to play uh, as the next gen, um, possibly Xbox One, maybe PS4. I'm leaning towards a little bit to the Xbox One side because that's what I have pre-ordered right now, but I'm going to get both systems in the future. But um, let's just talk about the game. So I have 5 games for you guys, so just sit back, relax and enjoy. So the first game that I want to play for next gen that's on my list is The Witcher 3 from CD Projekt Red and oh my gosh I am so excited for this game. This game won best graphics for E3 2013 and I cannot wait to see what it's going to be look like on on the next gen consoles. It's going to look beautiful. It's going to be a masterpiece. They, they said it's far more visceral uh, RPG and combat than The Witcher 2 and The Witcher 2 had really good combat. It had really just smooth, sort of like Arkham City, go from that guy to that guy, block combat um, with magical powers and just a mythical world. But the thing that's different from The Witcher 2, the first two Witcher games, is that The Witcher 3 is completely open world. It is open world, you can go wherever you want, it has multiple regions, like a, a vast spring area where it's a castle and stuff like that, and then there's a, a, a winter area where you can like sail on waters and just explore different ruins so I cannot wait to just make a walk through and play The Witcher 3 just spend hundreds and hundreds and hours just exploring the world and killing monsters and unraveling the story and playing as Geralt of Rivia for the final time and yes that is The Witcher 3 and that is my first game I cannot wait for and coming in hot on number two on my top five games I want to play for next gen this one is a big one. It is a new IP from Bungie. You guys probably already know what it's called, Destiny. So when I saw Destiny getting unveiled um, sometime last year, or uh, I think I saw it on IGN first, and they explained it as um, basically Star Wars with the huge universe mixed with Dragon Age in like the RPG choose your own path elements. And to me, I am a humongous nerd at Star Wars. I know everything. Ask me a question, I will answer it. Um, I'm a big fan of Star Wars, and I did not play Dragon Age Origins, but I basically saw my friend play through the whole thing, and it was just an incredible, mind-blowing experience that you cannot get in any other game. So if you put those two together, you get Destiny, and to just imagine that, it, it looks like a, a recipe for success. And Bungie, they, they made Halo, and to be honest, I wasn't the biggest fan of Halo, I didn't really like it that much, but... Um, I played it with my friends and all, and it was cool playing with friends, but by myself, I just didn't like the story, um, and it just really didn't grab me as an awesome game. But when they announced the Destiny and they told us what it's about, I am so excited for it. I think Bungie is going to be in my good graces now. I, I cannot wait for Destiny. It's an RPG, open world, MMO, just galaxy amazingness game, and I cannot wait to play it on the next-gen consoles. I saw the gameplay for it at uh, E3 2013. It looked incredible. I wanted to play it so bad. So, yes, that is my number two uh, most wanted to play on next-gen games for the next-gen consoles. All right, let's move on to number three, and this one is so special to me. <laughs> I have been waiting for this game for a long time, ever since it was announced at E3 2012. And that game is Watch Dogs from Ubisoft. If you guys don't know about Watch Dogs, he plays Aiden Pierce, an elite hacker in the city of Chicago. Um, basically, some bad people, I think, kill your family or do something bad to your family, and you basically just train yourself to be this badass hacker, just mercenary, just type, I'm gonna kill you if you get my way kind of dude. and the gameplay for it is really, really cool. If you think about it, we all live in a digital age. We go on our computers every day. We watch TV every day. We go on our phones nonstop throughout the day. To, to, like, to me, I cannot put my phone down. I need it at my side every day of my life because that's my way of communicating to the world. And imagine that, and you can hack every single piece of technology that you, that you want. That's what Aiden Pierce can do. That's what Watch Dogs is. If you're running from the cops and you see some uh, traffic barriers on the ground, you can activate it. Cops will just crash and probably die. If you want, you can control the subway and ride it and stop it. If you want, you can power, you can black out the whole city at your will. You can power it down. It's ridiculous. I think that this game will break bridges on just like just open world action storytelling for the next gen. I think. 
well, and to be honest, this game is coming towards current gen and next gen, and I think that they're, it's going to be amazing on all on all systems, you know, current gen and next gen. But I think it's really going to shine on like the Xbox One, the PS4, and the PC because you can do more with it. You can see more. You can you know ha more detail, just amazingness. And I cannot wait for Watch Dogs when that comes out November nineteenth this year. Um, I'm probably going to get it for the next gen consoles, probably Xbox One, and that's what I'm leaning towards. Um, and I will be sure doing a walkthrough on it. I cannot wait for Watch Dogs. So the next game that I'm about to talk about is Cyberpunk 2077. And yes, I cannot wait for this game. This is my most anticipated title for the next gen. I, I, I put it above everything else, above Watch Dogs, above The Witcher 3, because it just looks incredible. Um, these uh, people who made this game is CD Projekt Red, the people who made The Witcher 3, and to come from The Witcher 3, you know, medieval setting, RPG, magic, uh, swordplay, knights of the realm, crap like that, to futuristic cyber cyborg um, killing people and just upgrading your body, to futuristic settings, and to have that time lapse, that time gap, is nuts, it's incredible. And th this trailer just made me pumped for it, you know, the robotic woman who killed a bunch of people. And I, I read a little bit about what the game is about. Basically, it's set in 2077, of course, and you can basically do whatever you want with your guy. You can customize him, you can aim him if you, if you want, you can get different hairstyles, and I cannot wait to play this on next-gen consoles. It's going to look fantastic, because it's from CD Projekt Red. They have a crazy Red Engine 3 system that just has completely crazy detail. Look at the Witcher 3 gameplay. Imagine that even extended to the Xbox One um, in the future and just have it just like you're in this futuristic city utopia with cyberpunk stuff and I just cannot wait for it. CD Projekt Red, you stole my heart with Cyberpunk 2077 and this game is my most anticipated game for the next gen consoles so far. So let me know what you guys think of Cyberpunk 2077 in the comments, because I you already know how I feel about it. I cannot wait for this game. Let's continue on to the last and final most anticipated title for the next-gen systems. And that fifth and final game is Infamous Second Son. Yes, the third installment in the Infamous series. Um, it's sort of like it's it's sort of brand new because it doesn't continue from Cole McGrath from the first two games. Spoiler alert, if you guys have not played the ending for Infamous 2. Mute it, huh, you die. Basically, as Cole, you die. Um, in the good ending, but in the bad ending, you live. So it really depends on what you choose. But in this one, it takes it plays seven years after uh, the events of Infamous 2. And basically, um, the uh, Department of Unified Protection, DUP, is, is what the title is. They are the people that are protecting um, the citizens of Seattle that the game is based in from conduits, or in this case, bioterrorists that's what they're called that's what they're labeled um and you play as delson Rowe. he has a native american punk sort of like i don't care kind of dude he's just walking on the street one day he sees a bus get and it's crashed it's on fire and his you know awesome self wants to go save people and when he does he attracts a power from someone uh that he's pulling out a smoke power is to be to be uh, more specific and in the gameplay demo it's nuts what he can do he can turn into smoke go through vents um, shoot people, blow things up, just regular what smoke powers can do. Um, but that's not also his power. They in, in the Game Informer issue that came out that was featuring Infamous Second Son, they said that his power is to absorb other powers. So he's an empath. So that's kind of cool. Um, I wish that they won't show the powers until the game comes out uh, February of 2014 because I want to be surprised. I want to know what else he can do without knowing it. I want to be surprised, I want to be like that jaw-dropping moment where I'm like, oh my god, he has that power? So I want them to just not show it, and um, I was kind of worried that they're adding more powers besides smoke because I don't want to be overpowered, I just want to have like one main power that I can evolve and do whatever I want with, but you know, it's infamous, so whatever they do, it's going to be for the best, and I know that infamous second son is one of my most anticipated games that I want to play through. I will be getting the PS4 and the Xbox, uh, almost called it 720, Xbox One um, on the day of its release, so I will be playing every one of these games I mentioned in this list, and I will be playing Infamous Second Son. So gamers, that is it. Thank you so much for watching my awesome top 5 next-gen game titles that I want to play. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think, what you want to play. 
I want to know what you guys think about my list. Tell me if it was good. Tell me, you know, what game you want to play most off for the next-gen systems or if you're getting an Xbox One or a PS4. And that's all I have to say for now, gamers. If you guys liked this video, click like and subscribe for more gameplay videos and next-gen game videos when I upload them. And that is it. I will see you all next time, gamers. Peace.